look like it. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Do whatever your soul guides you to do. If you are being guided to just watch, go ahead and do that as well. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energy and intent. Being sent towards you by the enemy immediately and permanently, ten times full. All evil and wicked plans of your enemies against you have been dismantled immediately. Let's go ahead and get started with our reading. So you may be receiving some type of payout from the court system or this is your justice. There is something that was either stolen from you. Last night, when I, well it wasn't last night, I think it was early this morning. Before I woke up, I was in between, I was like in the dream state. And there were two people arguing, but there was like a barrier between them. There was a door, a glass door between the two of them. And it sounded like a masculine energy and someone else arguing. It's like the masculine energy wanted to come into the building, but someone was not allowing him to come into the building because that person had been either advised not to let anyone into the building or it's just they were concerned because either the person didn't have the either key to get into building into the building or permission to be in the to the to be in the building uh something like that and while they are arguing i hear my soul guy i, I hear her voice i hear my angel's voice and she's like this argument is about you go ahead go ahead and go find out we'll see what's going on but when i woke up my body didn't have any desire to move which was letting me know that it wasn't today but there's something coming up that maybe i need to be aware of and maybe some of you this is what you need to be aware of so i went back to sleep after that dream and then i end up in another dream i'm in this like really beautiful building there's a lot of people around there's a lot of activities going on. It's really bright. There's a lot of sunlight in the building. It's just very beautiful and just bright, uh, <clears throat> bright in the building, right? Like there's sunlight coming in and there's people that you're standing around talking to each other and they're talking about how, uh, 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 they're talking about how the, either the property, the business, the house, it didn't belong to the previous owner anymore. And so I asked, I'm like, well, who does it belong to now? And she says it belongs to uh, Harleen Warner. And I'm like, well, I don't know who Harleen Warner is. But when she said the person's name, immediately in my heart and my stomach, it said, no, it doesn't belong to this person. It belongs to me. So this is letting me know that some of you, someone stole a property from you. Someone stole some type of inheritance from you. Um... And the fact that we even have this out here is absolutely crazy. You have some type of payout coming from the court and this is your justice. It doesn't have to be the court, but because we have the justice card out here, it absolutely means that, that there's some type of legalities going on behind the scenes that you all may not be aware of. Or someone is just stepping up to the plate to right something that was wrong, right? Some, uh, there's some type of plan by someone as well to interfere with this. I'm telling you to keep interfering with this. It's like someone wants to balance something out, but someone is interfering. Someone keeps doing something to block this person from coming towards you and providing you with this message. And it's just really alarming. The thing that's also alarming for me is that the second dream, that is not my first time having a dream. I've had the same exact dream in the same building with the same woman I was talking to asking her who the property belongs to now. And she gave me the name in the first dream, but I didn't hear the name clearly. But now in the second dream, I heard the name. So it's like spirit is clearing something up for me. It's like, hey, you missed this information last time. Um, here's the information um, that you didn't receive, right? Absolutely. Someone is not going to be successful. It says someone has some type of plan 
and to come in and steal what was yours, but they're exposed. They cannot steal it. What belongs to you is being given to you. Someone is not recovering. There could be someone that passed away um, and left, left you in a will, left something for some of you, and you're not aware of it. And people have been trying to steal this from you, trying to sell it. Maybe someone tried to steal this from you, but they couldn't, so they've decided to sell it to someone else. And the person they're selling it to or try to sell it to does not know that it does does not belong to this thief so they're not going to be successful with selling this property or getting rid of it or taking over it um the court the justice system is uh is involved i keep hearing something about the fbi yeah the fbi someone knows the truth about the matter like what all people have been doing behind the scenes um Someone may have gone to a high priestess to get some type of advice about this, and they may have told them that they were going to be successful in stealing your property, stealing your inheritance, stealing your money. Whatever this is, this is something that was absolutely meant to change your life. This is something you manifested. This is absolutely something you manifested and you don't even realize that this could have been like you manifested this in maybe a tumultuous time in your life when things were just really out of white chaotic and you were just like so depressed or something like that and you spoke to the most high and told them that you wanted something like that and you didn't realize that the most high was listening to you and then went ahead and got just that for you but you were not aware so there is something legal going on. Someone from your past could have had some type of hand. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> the Six of Cups. Some of, someone from your past has a hand in you being blocked from receiving what belongs to you. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing like maybe a, fa a, a child's father or your father may have stolen this property hid the D somewhere either in a building in the walls of a building or the floors of a building something of that nature so that when the court case is going on when the legal proceedings are going on it's going to be extremely difficult to find the deeds to this home or this property um the person whether it's your father baby father there's some type of masculine involved in here they know where their D is so when court proceedings are going on they're going to pretend like they don't know where the D is, they don't know anything about the D's, but the person that's staying in the house, they are connected to that person in some way, shape, or form. Someone stole something really abundant from you. You were supposed to be living in luxury, like a whole different life than what some of you are living right now. Um, and balance is being brought into the situation. Um, someone Someone has stole this property, they cannot have it anymore. The plans they had to come in and take it from you, they thought they would be successful. It is not. Someone went to a high priestess again to get some type of confirmation that they will be successful in stealing this from you. They will not be successful, okay? It's being returned to the rightful owner. I'm telling you, a decision has been made to return to you what belongs to you. There has been a lot of actions being taken place behind the scenes. This person with this masculine could have gone to other people to get them involved in this matter as far as hiding your inheritance from you. It's that someone received a message or like a letter in the mail and it was supposed to go to you. Your name was on the mail. So someone may have taken that mail, either shredded it so you wouldn't be aware or they hid it. As I said earlier, somewhere where it's not easy to get a hand of it, but they know where it is, okay? Um, there could be an institution behind this this uh scenario as well, this story. There's an institution that has been working with the high priestess as well uh, to kind of just stay ahead of the game. It's like, hey, she said this or he said this, what's going to happen? We need to know what's going to happen so we can stay ahead of this person and make sure that we are not found out. But I don't think they realize that they've already been found out. I keep hearing FBI. There's something in here with legalities. The police may be in, you know, involved um, either in a good way or a bad way. There could be a cop or, or FBI agent that was paid of like a PI or something that was paid to keep their mouth shut. There could have been a judge that was paid in some of you cases to keep their mouth shut, they accept their bribery under the table, something like that. But just know that there, there is some type of balance being brought into the situation. It may not be as 
perfect as you want it to be but it is going to go in your favor these people are not going to be a, a successful right in what belongs to you it's almost as though someone's saying oh well there are a star sea already they're already abundant the universe the universe provides what it is that they need so they don't need this it doesn't matter if i steal this from them they're going to receive something better but that's not how it works it said like this was not meant for you so you have to give it back okay and someone has cursed their bloodline a lot of people have cursed their bloodline okay they may have seen maybe someone thought you were not aware of what was going on i'm telling you sorrows this institution is not no it's not the truth has been revealed they're disappointed is that everything they've tried to do is not working you're still receiving this message i'm telling you you're going to get a hold of what belongs to you you're absolutely going to get a hold of what belongs to you and someone has been working really hard behind the scenes so that you don't get it someone sees the truth and this institution is absolutely disappointed. There's a whole group of people here walking around with a mask on. It's like, oh my gosh, I could go to jail. I could lose this. I'm going to lose this. Oh my gosh. There's like an institution that's really disappointed because everything they've done has not worked. You're still getting a hold of what belongs to you. You may even be getting something better. They said you were possibly meant to get a pitch of pentacles offer and you may end up getting an ace of pentacles offer right or an ace of pentacles and a page of pentacles offer which means your life is about to be absolutely different from what it used to be you won't have to be like living from check to check or waiting for handouts or something like that if some of you are in that situation it's just been a whole lot going on people have been collecting like bribery and things like that behind the scene someone has been bribing people to keep their mouth shut to keep this uh, 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 plot going on, the plot to steal from you. And the, if they already sold your property, they're paying people behind the scenes to keep keep this on the hush. But it's kind of too late. And I don't think whoever is leading this group is aware that it's already out there. It's that someone is being monitored by the justice system and they don't realize that they have been being monitored. Someone also has someone, it's like they have one of their friends watching you just to keep update to see if you are in the know, if you're taking any actions to to like bring the courts, uh, get a lawyer, something like that. But you are definitely being monitored in some way to make sure that they are staying ahead of you just so their friend can say, hey, yeah, they said this is happening or this is going on. This person went to this place today. This person went to the police station today. This person called this person today. So a lot of you have your phone calls being intercepted, rerouted, or just blocked overall. Some of you, your emails and things like that are being rerouted or just turned off. Or, you know, when you have a message coming in that's supposed to bring your awareness to this, they are interfering with those uh, messages so you're not receiving it right and the court system court system has been waiting for a while so why is this person not showing up for their abundance this is a lot of money this is a huge house and you know someone shows up and say oh she gave me or he gave me the right to vouch on their behalf to act uh, out of their best act on their behalf and the court is just like mm, mm, something is not adding up this is like someone leaving you millions and some a uh, heifer shows up and say, oh, well, she signed it over to me or she's not capable of taking care of herself. She's not mentally balanced enough to decide, you know, how this money uh, can be uh, managed and things like that. And the courts is just that mm, for a while, they probably had people fooled in the court system, but now things are not adding up. So things are being looked into and these people are disappointed. They thought they were going to get away with this. But in that dream, what I saw, it was just like, it was a beautiful property. They were really clean. And the people in there looked really, you know, like well put together. It was just a very like bright, sunny day. And I was just like, when she told me like who it belonged to, it's like my whole energy changed. I just felt like, no, it does not belong to that person. It belongs to me. It's literally what I was saying on the inside. But I just kind of stayed quiet and I said, do you know where Harlene is then? Because I need to go talk to Harlene. Um, but then, you know, I have a, well, you all don't know, but I have a a, a, um, a 14 year old that plays games and he was there laughing out loud and things like that. And I ended up waking up from the dream and I'm just like, oh, kid, I needed some information from this person named Harlene. <laughs> 
Yeah, absolutely. The justice system is bringing balance. You are going to be receiving what is yours. This is an opportunity. This could be an opportunity for some of you that's going to lead to a fresh start. Whatever this financial payout is, uh, uh, advance, whatever it is, is a fresh start for you. You may not be in the know about it for some of you. And some of you, you intuitively know that you are supposed to receive some type of abundance, some type of inheritance. And people have been doing things behind the scenes to block you from receiving it. Someone is not recovering. There's a thief that's not recovering from something that they did. They expect it to be successful. Someone could be having like a mental breakdown. Someone could be struggling with some type of illness. Someone could be passing away from illness. And this is karma for this person. This is karma. This is a like bad karma for some type of action they took against you. And they were advised possibly not to do this. It's like someone told this person, do not do what you're going to do. Do not partner up with this institution. It's not going to turn out well for you. And they didn't listen. Someone may have given them a check and the check was just too good to turn down. So they went ahead and accepted that bribery. And now they're going through some type of ending. Someone could be passing away. Some, there's something going on with someone. Like they're not recovering. But even though this person is in some type of state of just, I don't know what this is. They are still stern on stealing from you. Someone is absolutely determined to block you from receiving an opportunity, what belongs to you. They're absolute, absolutely stern, determined to block you from receiving it, but they're just not going to be successful. It's not going to be successful. It's like every step they take, they, um, excuse me, every step this person takes is just ensuring an ending for them. And they may even know it, but this is someone stubborn. Like people that are rebellious, they're like a wild card. They will see things through. Even if they know they're not going to be successful, they will keep going because they just they just have that thing where it says, maybe this one last time I'm going to get it right. Maybe this one last time I'm get, going to get it right. And sometimes by the time they stop, they they are poor. They've lost all their money. They've lost friendships. They've, they've lost relationships. They've lost their homes because they've invested in the wrong thing, which is taking someone else down, right? Someone is losing connections and things like that, which is what I just heard. Like people are walking away from this person because they just don't know when to give up, when to let go. So they're losing a lot of business opportunities. They're losing a lot of networking opportunity, a lot of connections and things of that nature. Okay. There is a high priestess that is, that is, that it, I'm still up, but there is absolutely a high priestess, however, that is working with this institution. And she could be the one advising these people now to kind of walk away. She may have ill advised them in the past to keep going and say, hey, I'm telling you, this is what I see. If you all do this, you're going to be successful. They won't find out about their inheritance. They won't find out that you stole this house. They won't find out that you stole this mansion. But it's not going accordingly. They've lost a lot of resources. You're still receiving this message. The truth is being seen about them. This opportunity is still coming to you. You're still getting a hold of what belongs to you. You still have a new path. You have endless uh, opportunities and possibilities ahead of you. It's that you are still living in your truth. There is a company that is absolutely disappointed that the truth is being seen, the truth is being spoken. Something is being re looked over again because whatever these people did, they may have provided like documents that just do not add up. It's that people forging signatures and things like that, creating false documents, stamping things to make it look official and things like that, and it's just not official. So something is being looked over because the the math is not mathing, two and two are not adding up, okay? It's crazy, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, so there's a King of Wands here that's not recovering. He may have lost a lot of finances, he may have some type of illness going on. Maybe he was supposed to do the right thing in this situation. Someone wants to attach themselves to your abundance. Someone wants to steal your abundance, like your Ten of Pentacles from you. This is something that could have been left to you or this person wants to present you with some type of opportunity to attach themselves to you. Someone is absolutely uh, uh, 
strategic in how they are approaching you is that they want to make it look like they're doing something out of your best interest they're looking out for you so you can befriend them and then you end up partnering up with them in some type of a uh, business opportunity or you're going to give to them you're going to share it to them but this person is malicious i don't get a good vibe from him okay this will be someone that comes from a, from a wealthy background or they feel like attaching themselves to you is going to make them wealthy this is someone that will absolutely do anything for money this is someone that was bribed. This was someone that was part of the plan, or he could have came up with the plan to steal this Ten of Pentacles from you. Okay? Someone is upset that the courts, someone in the legal system is choosing to do the right thing to bring this to your attention. They say someone is saying, no, I'm telling you, do not, do not give it to her. Okay? These people are not celebrating. There is no celebration for them. I'm telling you, they're not celebrating. These people celebrated too early. You see this mess? It's just coming out one after the other. They are not celebrating anymore. They celebrated a little too early. They thought they had successfully stolen this Ten of Pentacles, but they celebrated too early because something is being looked over. And they are trapped in their mind. They could have legal issues coming in. This high priestess ill advise these people. This woman is mentally imbalanced. Someone here could not be gifted, but they pretend to be gifted. Someone here is into dark work. Someone here does not care what it is they indulge in as long as they get paid for what it is they're being paid. Someone is trapped in something. These people could be upset with her and say, you told us we were going to be successful. You told us we were going to win, defeat this person. Here it is. We're not. Okay? In this institution, I told you they're not happy. They are not happy. They're not happy with the turnout. What they're receiving is like they expected to receive something other than what they are receiving. And they're throwing some type of fit. There's someone in an institution that's throwing a fit. This is a feminine energy and a masculine energy. They are throwing a fit because things are not going in their favor. They've been walking around with a mask on and people are seeing the truth about a situation. People outside of this toxic group. They see the truth about this situation. People know this crazy person, what it is they do, how they operate, what they do to make things go in their favor. Someone goes to a practitioner quite a lot. And this practitioner is not stable. As you all know, I always say shaky, shaky. This person's mental is shaky, shaky. You got to be careful with these types of high priestesses. But she's part of this institution. She's been with this institution for a long time. They pay her to give readings behind the scenes. It's not legitimate readings. They're telling her to say certain things to people when they go to get readings. She's been working with them for quite a long time and it's just not going in their favor anymore. This is that you come to work for this institution. You t they tell you, hey, go to this high priestess. She's legit and things like that. It's funny that this is coming up because I've mentioned something about a high priestess like that before in one of my readings. They tell her, go to this high priestess, she's legit, she's solid, you know, she's a real deal. But the whole time they've paid her behind the scenes uh -uh, to give you some type of false reading. But she's so fluent in lying and manipulating, you think it's real. But she's been with this institution for a long time. And they may be upset with her as well because the advice that she gives them has led them into a trap, right? A trap that they cannot get out of. Look at this car just jumping out. I'm telling you, it is not going well for these people. Last night, my last reading I did, we heard about a queen of pentacles, a greedy queen of pentacles that was still stern on holding on to someone's wealth, someone's abundance. She didn't want to let go, but she had to let go of it, right? And now we have this scenario going out where someone is still malicious enough regardless of the situation they're in. They're still trying to steal or hold on to what does not belong to them. I wouldn't be surprised if it's this queen of pentacles not wanting to show her face. But someone is absolutely going ballistic behind the scenes. Someone, someone is just really greedy. Extremely greedy. They're losing sleep, having nightmares just because of the fact that what belongs to you is coming to you. And this is judgment that has been called. This is your divine inheritance. Okay. Someone here feels guilty because they may have partnered up with these people. Yeah, someone took a, took a risk that they should not have. Someone took a risk 
that they should not have taken and it's not going in their favor. You still have this new beginning ahead of you. You're still, your future is still bright. You still have opportunities coming towards you. You have endless opportunity. You're someone multifaceted and things like that. But there is someone in this group that reg regrets working with these people because they didn't know the truth before but now they know the truth they were advised before not to work with these people it could have been like some type of intuitive advice where it's like spirit was speaking to this person is that hey you're headed in the wrong direction do not partner up with these people but for some reason this person maybe they paid this person to partner up with them and they accepted this bribery this bribery and it's not happening anymore. Someone is paying a masculine to come in, they're bribing a masculine to come in and present you with some type of opportunity as well. This is a false opportunity, it's a trap, right? They know you have this 10 of pentacles attached to you. They want. They may want to invite you to some type of outing. It's a trap. If you go there and you accept whatever it is they're offering, you're not going to be happy. You're going to be living in a nightmare. You may end up blocking your new beginning, right? Your connection to source. There's something. These people are coming up with some type of plan because they don't want you to have what belongs to you, okay? They do not want you what, they do not want you having what belongs to you, but you are destined to have an offer. You're destined to have this abundance. You're destined to be in a committed relationship. For some of you that are concerned about being in a relationship, you are absolutely destined. They want to pay you. I'm telling you to leave something out in the cold. It's that, hey, let it go. Let it go. We'll give you this amount of money, but it's like far less than what you were supposed to receive. This is a Knight of Pentacles. This is a Ten of Pentacles. This is that someone giving you 25000 but you have $10 million to your name. Right? They want to pay you so you can walk away. They may even be paying people behind the scenes as well to do something to you. Interfere with your forward movement. Interfere with your comfort, your living situation, something. These people are doing a whole lot behind the scenes, and they don't mind bribing people. They've, they've been doing that. But they absolutely have a plan. Someone does not know how to let go. I'm telling you. They have a plan. Someone was guided to go within. They didn't listen. And now it's biting them in the behind. Someone was absolutely guided to go within. I'm telling you. They didn't listen. And now they're going through karma. Remember my ten of swords? It's my test of your own medicine card. Someone is going through karma. And this is self-imposed karma because... They were guided not to do what it is they're do they did. Like spirit told this person, hey, don't do that. You're not gonna like the, en the uh, ending. And the money looks so good. Someone wanted to be part of an institution. Someone wanted to be part of an institution. Someone wanted to be part of something. They said, oh, well, it's one of her. Obviously we are destined to win. It's just one person. What could go wrong? My brother, everything. Now everything could go wrong. Everything and literally everything went wrong. This person was advised not to go to someone may have even been advised by an older mature person in their life not to do this and they still did it and they ended up here and they're not able to recover. You see that they tried to steal your wealth and source it absolutely not. So it does not matter how long it takes, what's yours will be yours. If some of you are sitting around saying, well, when is this freaking money going to come in? Or when is this uh, uh, house going to come in? You are focusing on the wrong thing. You need to be going on with your life, making effort to heal and things like that, elevating life, educating yourself, acquiring higher knowledge and secret knowledge, things like that, improving yourself, right? Do not focus on this stuff because the more you focus on it, you, you're causing stagnation in your manifestation for this to be done, done with. I'm telling you, the judgment card is staying on the bottom. Judgment has been called in this situation. Your ancestors have stepped up to the plate. They're tired. As, I'm telling you, every time I freaking shuffle, it's just there. Judgment has been called in this situation. This card does not want to leave the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> these people are fighting. They are absolutely fighting amongst themselves. They thought they were going to be successful, source it, and... So, you know, this brief celebration they had was short-lived. 
absolutely short-lived. They're betraying each other. Things are not going as they plan. It's just, it's just chaos around these people. And this is what they wanted for you. They thought you were going to be living in chaos. Some of you, these groups have been taking actions behind the scenes just to make sure that you don't have peace. If you, if you operate your own business, they don't want you to do that in peace. If you work a nine to five, they don't want you to do that in peace. If you are a content creator, they don't want you doing that in peace. So they are doing things behind the scenes to interfere with your life. They don't want you in peace. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm telling you, collaboration is a collaboration. Because something is exposed. A letter is exposed. Information is exposed. These people are being asked questions, interrogations, things like that. There could have been some type of private investigation going on that these people were not aware of because something was just not adding up. Someone may have gone and pretended to be like your mother, your father, something to get a hold of this resource and the court is finding this out. There's a whole lot of shenanigans going on here. Someone left you something and someone stole it and they're trying to keep it, but they cannot. For some of you, they're trying to steal it, but it's like every move they make, every attempt that they make to steal this is not working, it's blocked. And this is because of divine interference from the most high. This is greed at its best. Greed. Okay, this came out sideways. I'm going to put it up right. They may be approaching an emperor to have him, you know, partner up with them. This is like their last hope or something is what I just heard. They said, hey, we've tried everything to go up against this person and steal their inheritance. It's not working. We think you can do it. You are around this person more than we are. You know what they do. So would you do this for us? Will you work with us? He probably said no, because true emperors don't do this. There's an emperor, emperor here that's being investigated as well because he took actions that he should not have taken. Someone is being investigated behind the scenes, but if you see them, they look well put together. They, they look calm, absolutely, but he's being questioned and he does not have the right answers. This person has told too many lies. As you can see, there's nothing positive around this person. Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles, there's something with him. He's being investigated and he's not happy about that. This could be the head of an organization. This could be someone that's a high ranking official in an organization and he's being questioned. This group could be blaming him for everything as well. I'm telling you, these cards are just flying out. I'm telling you, divine intervention. This group could be betraying this emperor trying to say that he's the reason why things are the way they are. It was his idea to steal this abundance, this inheritance. Spirit is stepping in. There could be an emperor working behind the scenes on some of you's behalf as well. I'm telling you, this person may partner up with you to bring balance into this situation. This person sees you as the truth. They know you are someone that's very, you know, uh, uh, different from everybody else. They have a unique perspective about you, but they know you are innocent and you, what was done to you was wrong. So some of you, that's what this emperor is. For some of you, this is an emperor who is a higher level soulmate for you that you're going to be partnering up with. But there's some type of chaos going on behind the scenes that needs to be taken care of, resolved before you two can come together. They are interfering with this connection coming together. This is why you have this division right here where Source is there because Source is taking actions to protect this union so that it does come together. But right now, this group is doing something to interfere with this emperor coming towards you. For some of you. Okay. Um, this stuff just keeps flying out. Yeah, absolutely. Sealing the karma waters, moving on. Someone wants to help you to move on with your life. And these people don't want him helping you. There's a feminine energy in here. Either this is a masculine that resides in his feminine energy. Or there is a feminine energy in here that is absolutely pissed off that this emperor is still coming towards you. There is nothing they can do, is what I'm hearing, to block this emperor from coming towards you, whoever this is. So he's still coming towards you. He's still sealing onto karma waters. 
he's done with this collaboration. They may have betrayed him and he found out, or he's just done with this toxicity. Someone knows that you were wrong. I'm telling you, he's keeping his distance from them. He does not want to be part of this nonsense anymore. Anymore. That means he did something in the past. He does not want to be a part of it anymore because he knows it's not going anywhere. These people are not going to be successful. Your abundance is being protected from these people as well. He's keeping his distance. It's like, y'all, y'all, you are a foolish as heck. Greedy. Someone may be hiding, going on the run. Someone wants to go on the run so that they don't face the consequences of their actions. There's nowhere you can go. It's, you, you are going to face the consequences of your action in this lifetime. Not a next lifetime, not another lifetime. In this lifetime, every last one of you is going to face your consequences. You've cursed your bloodlines because of greed. Because of greed. Absolutely because of greed. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-mm. Every time this, this is like the next, the second or third reading, this Knight of Cups and this Knight of Wands are coming out together. Okay. And I don't get a good vibe. There is someone in here that wants to come in and sh cause you some type of illusion. This is not a genuine love offer. Someone wants to romance you. It doesn't have to be a one night stand, but they want to romance you in a way where you you think that they're in love with you. It's not love. It's not love. Someone wants you to feel like they're doing you a favor. Like they're doing you a favor, but it's not a favor. I'm telling you, this, this karma here is justice. It's judgment. This is your ancestors stepping in. That whoever is going through this, they deserve it. They deserve it. This is divine interventions as well. Someone may have wanted to come towards you, but your ancestors intercepted and say, no, you stay over there. No, you can't come towards him. You can't come towards her. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. They're like, no, you can't. You cannot come towards this person. Whatever protection you think you're giving will protect them. Someone has ulterior motives. Someone has ulterior motives. They know you see them. They know you know the truth. Someone knows you are extremely gifted as well for some of you. Someone knows that you are absolutely smart as heck. You may be reading these people's minds and they don't know that. You may just intuitively know what these people are up to. You may not say nothing, but they know. And then there's your ancestors. Okay, uh-uh. Like, They're bringing something to your attention, so you need to be mindful i would say pay attention to your dreams like i've been paying attention to my dreams there's a message you all are supposed to be receiving go to bed on time uh clean up your diets clean up your lifestyles and things like that i know that sounds cliche i'm not your mother to be telling you what to do but this is why some of you struggle with remembering your dreams or communicating with the spirit realm or even realizing realizing that your ancestors are around you is because of what you're putting in your body. It's clouding your judgment. You have your ancestors trying to protect you and you think it's a ghost trying to attack you, an evil spirit trying to attack you. You need to clean up your lives. Eat healthy. I'm not saying be a vegan or something, but be mindful of what you're putting in your body. It's okay to indulge every now and then, but not on a consistent basis. Like for me, I have like a, a, a weakness for the mocha frappes from McDonald's and I don't really eat McDonald's because it never sits well with my system. Like every time I eat McDonald's food, whether it's the fries, burger, whatever it is, I get sick from that. But their mocha frappe, I'm able to consume that and not get sick. So that's the one thing I can eat from there and I'm okay. Some For some reason, I really like their mocha frappe. So I order, I go and get those from time to time to kind of just feel you know, a little bit alive and things like that. But on a regular, I drink water 99% of the time. If I go out to eat, I order water. You know, that's the time you're supposed to, you know, go out a little bit, you know, splurge a little bit, treat yourself. But I'm just really, at this point in my life, I'm just really focused on being the best versions of my, best version of myself. I said versions, 
We all have many versions of ourselves living in other dimensions, but I'm focused on being the best version of myself. Um, trying to keep negative people away, those negative Nancy's, uh, uh, karmic Karen's, stay over there, okay? So clean up your life. It's not going to happen in one day, but just take little steps day by day. Take it one day at a time. And before you know it, you'll be where you need to be, where you'll see that putting McDonald's in your body a lot is not something that's beneficial for you, okay? And then, unfortunately for me, I have a... A 14 year old kid that loves McDonald's, so it's like I have to treat him every now and then to make him happy. So he told me because <laughs> we eat healthy, I cook most of the food we eat. He told me, Mom, when I leave your house for the first week of my life outside of your house, I'm eating nothing but restaurant food because <laughs> we don't go out to eat a lot. <laughs> Yeah, so they want you to be in the know about a union coming together. This does not have to be a romantic thing. This can be like a collaboration as far as business. The Two of Cups does not always have to do with romance. It has to do with having a successful business with, business with someone else or manifesting a new reality, whether that's in business or in love, right, together. And you two are not able to manifest this new reality apart from each other, so you have to come together to manifest. So your ancestors want you to know or they are bringing to your attention this union, who you're supposed to be with or what belongs to you, okay? Someone is going to right this wrong and they're touching the right hearts, they're touching the right minds, right? Some of you may have a thing. I'm mean, I'm just being, you know, extra. You could have like ten thousand people up against you, but there's maybe two or three people within that ten thousand people that your ancestors have touched um, to do the right thing, and that's all you need because the person's heart that they are touching could be the head of the organization, which means their call is the final call. Their judgment is the final judgment and no one can go up, up against that. So you don't need 10,000 people for karma to go in your favor, for justice to be brought into your life, right? You just need to trust your ancestors. Listen to what they're saying is what I'm hearing as well. Pay attention and make sure that you are paying attention to this union. Someone may be coming in to delulu you, okay? deceive you make sure you're paying attention they want you to pay attention to this union because it's something that's going to be beneficial for you you and this person may be meeting all right you'll be meeting in some type of unorthodox way for some of you it's not planned but it's going to come together when it's supposed to okay yeah someone is trying to steal this union they are absolutely trying to they're trying to steal this union. Someone does not want you having it. Someone feels like they're better. They're a better option for you than your soul twin. Something like that. I don't know how people come up with these conclusions. Someone feels that they are a better soulmate for you than your soul twin. How do you come to that conclusion? I don't know. But you and your soul twin, for someone I just heard, could be the complete opposite. You could be in this energy. This person could be in this energy. Okay, so when you meet them, uh, yeah, good luck for those of you that that resonates with. But there is absolutely either a masculine energy or a feminine energy that is the complete opposite of you. But you are supposed to be, you're meant to be with this person. You don't have to be with them, but you're meant to be with this person. You may heal this person and get them out of something toxic that they've been a part of for a long time. If you do not feel like you'll have success in healing this person, don't force it. Your ancestors, the angels, the universe is not going to bring something, a challenge to you that they don't think you can uh, uh, overcome, right? So just be mindful on that. But you have someone that's very entitled in here that does not want you two coming together. Someone is in competition with the masculine that you're supposed to be with. Someone is interfering with communications for some of you. But absolutely, there's also an, um, I, yeah, there's also an institution that does not want this union coming together. This is a dark institution. This is a dark institution. It's like they're accustomed to either this masculine or this feminine being in their negative energy, indulging in negative things, 
being toxic and now that this person laid their eyes on you is that oh now he wants real love now he wants true love if he goes to this person it's over for us he can't go to this person she's going to be abundant in life we benefit from this person not being abundant in life it's a whole lot going on for a lot of you a whole lot going on there is a feminine energy possibly a a a, a, a a queen of wands that's living in fear as well. For you, if you are the queen of wands collective, you may be going through some type of dark night of the soul or you have gone through that and you are recovering or have recovered and you're still in under commerce waters. But there's a woman in here that's living in some type of fear because she does not want this union coming together she wants to trap this masculine with her or she has trapped this masculine with her and she's doing absolutely everything to block this union from coming together because she benefits from being connected to this masculine this is all ego this is all ego from on her side okay yeah it looks like you're you're going to be defended and you have this out here. Lord have mercy. Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to put my stack here. Absolutely. Oh, my. Yeah, you're definitely going to be successful. There is some type of ulterior motive for someone coming towards you, some of you. But you're being told to stand your ground. Do not let anyone deceive you. Be on the lookout. Someone may want to come in and deceive you with a union. I think I mentioned that earlier. It's like they're in competition with this masculine or they just want to trick you so you can end up in the wrong union. But someone knows they cannot trick you. And this is all to trap you in something, something unholy. Like they want to have some type of contract with you. It's a binding contract. And your ancestors are bringing this to your attention. They say, hey... We just want you to know that there's a heifer coming towards you to trick you. Be on the lookout. We just want you to know that someone stole your inheritance. And we're going to make sure you get it back. You're being defended. Someone is defending you behind the scenes. Someone is trying to right a wrong. And you're going to be abundant. You're going to be fulfilled in life. This relationship, whatever this is, is going to be abundant. Someone sees you for who you are. Okay, they see you for exactly who you are. Absolutely for who you are. What a mess. This is a whole lot going on. Is that if people could put this amount of energy into their own lives, it would be so much easier for them. But we are and that's the that's the crazy thing. We all have to learn. So we're not going to learn if this chaos is not going on. We learn through troubles, hardship. When people cause us problems, we learn through those problems. That's that's if we don't choose to give up and just accept defeat or something. But you have to be able to stand your ground and see what it is that the enemy is doing and see the see things from a higher perspective. Okay? what is our angel number of the day what is your message what is your advice to us today what do you want us to be aware of there we go 44 hey my number it's my number thank you it says your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. So if you feel like you are not being supported, that is a lie. That is a lie. You are absolutely uh, supported. Do not feel like you are alone in life. You're never alone. There are 9 billion people in the world. And even if you don't communicate with one of them, you have the spirit around. They're always around you, always protecting you, always watching you. Okay, you're never alone. We are in a universe creation. How can you feel alone in something so mass, something so grand? All you have to do is like look outside and there's beauty everywhere. There's creation everywhere. Go out 
get out of your house. That's something I do. Like, if I'm in my house and I realize that things are feeling claustrophobic and things like that, I am quick to get out of this apartment. Like, I gotta go get fresh air. Mother Nature's calling me. I'll either go for a walk, go for a drive with my kids, but you have to clear your head. Staying in the house all day is not gonna help. Staying around toxic people all day is not gonna help. If someone that watches my channel, you're trying to go through some type of healing and you're disappointed or you're frustrated with yourself because you keep relapsing. You are relapsing because you are not letting go of the people that are keeping you in the state of mind. You have people that are gaslighting you, right? You, uh, extending false friendships to you and you don't know where you've been around these people for a long time and they are not there with your best interest at heart. They may be having some type of financial benefit from being around you or they just don't want to see you prospering in life. And this is why they are around you. They're, they are your destiny and blocker. So that is the reason why you keep relapsing. It's that one day you're like, well, I'm not going to go clubbing tonight or I'm not going to be drinking a lot anymore. And then you go and hang out with the same crazy people. And you, before you know it, you down a whole bottle. You down like 10 shots and something like that. And then you get in your car to drive home. And it's not safe. You are headed down a road that is not looking very promising and looking very long so you need to distance yourself from these people you see that distance yourself from this gas lighter all right distance yourself from this gas lighter they're impulsive as heck false romance whether you are a friend whether you're in a relationship with someone, there is someone you need to get away from or a group of people that you get you need to get away from. I am giving you this message from your ancestors. They're speaking through me. Let go of these people. You need to pay attention to the kind of relationships you're involving yourself in, the kind of business partners you're uh, partnering up with, just the kind of collaborations you are involved in, whether it's romantic or platonic. Let go of these people. They don't have any good intentions for you. It's ulterior motives right they want you binded in this toxicity let go of them they don't have your best interest as hard i'm telling you ulterior motives i don't care how how long you've known these people i don't care if they're family friends frenemies you need like new friends you need a new life a new perspective you know you are meant for more and guess what so do these people, they know you are meant for more as well. But because they don't want to see you doing better than them, they are helping you stay in this mindset, living in fear, uncertain of your path. But you're not uncertain. You know what to do. But because of the people you surround yourself with, you're trapped in your mind. You're trapped with these people. Let go. I don't know if you're staying because of money because you have access to different stuff maybe you lay with a lot of women and things like that you're used to residing in this energy whatever it is that's holding you you need to let go and you're not going to be healed or fulfilled until you let go of these people and you're you're being advised this is you being told to stand your ground on your journey to heal and when, if you do that this is what's ahead of you you want to be with someone like a feminine energy or you're looking for wife material is what I'm hearing. You're not going to find wife material staying in this energy and around these types of people. Okay? You are destined to be abundant in life, even more abundant than you feel you are right now. You're not really abundant right now. You're under some type of facade that you're abundant. But the abundance that you have, it comes with a catch. It comes with a catch. You have to be careful what you say, what you do, how you move, who you communicate with, who you're dating. That is not abundance. That's a curse. That's a trap. Get away from these people. You watch my channel. And I, I'm grateful that you come back and watch. Thank you for your support. But I'm being told to let you know that the people around you have ulterior motives. This is friends. This is families, people you've known for a long time. There is someone that you have a close relationship with. That you, This is the last person you would expect to be betraying you. And they are the ones betraying you. They're the ones spending, uh, spreading rumors about you. Spreading your business. Telling your business to other people that you call friends. Even people you don't know. But this is what's ahead of you if you can stick to your path. Stick to your path. It's not easy. It is not meant to be easy. And that's because it's lasting. Nothing that comes easy is long lasting. 
sticking to your path is going to heal you. I've given a little bit of my journey on here, how hard it was. It's not easy. It's not meant to be easy, sir. I'm talking to a masculine. It is not easy. Let go of these people. They don't mean you well. They don't want to see you in love. They don't want to see you fulfilled in life. They don't want to see you successful. That's because they know their futures are bleak. So they want your future to be bleak. These people have been draining you for years. Whether they're into magic or not, they've been draining you in one way, shape, or another. Your finances, your energy, your connections, you're like being get kept. There's gatekeeping going on around you, and you don't even know it. But you are still blessed. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.